One of the best things about baking at home is the fact that you will have control over all the ingredients you use. Now baked items do include fats and sugar, but deciding which fats and sweeteners you use can make all the difference. Even if you don't do a lot of baking, I think it's nice to have a few good, reliable recipes in your repertoire. And this cake made with olive oil should definitely be one of them. Baked items made with oil actually tend to stay fresh much longer. And using olive oil adds many health benefits as well as great flavor. Now I'm using a mild flavored California oil made from Arbequina olives that I find works well for baking. You don't want anything too robust in um, a baked item. Now in this recipe we're going to begin by toasting some whole almonds in the convection mode. Then we'll set them aside to cool before putting them in the food processor and grounding them very, very fine. Now I'm going to bake my cake in the convection mode. However, in this recipe you could also use traditional bake if you prefer. So when I remove the almonds from the oven, I reduce the temperature to 325 degrees. Because remember, in baking, temperature comes down by 25 in convection. So once the ground almonds, cake flour and salt are combined, you whip the eggs on high speed until fluffy. Then you're going to add the sugar, orange zest and vanilla to the mix and continue mixing on high speed until the mixture triples in volume. It only takes a few minutes. Now add the flour mixture alternating with the olive oil on low speed until just blended. Then all you have to do is pour the batter into the prepared pan and bake for approximately 30 minutes, it'll be more like 35, until firm to the touch in the center. It's recommended to cool the cake in a pan, in the baking pan for 10 minutes before inverting it onto a rack to cool completely. This cake is really appealing to me because it's very light. I mean, three quarters of a cup of flour. Yet, it's so flavorful, it keeps well for a few days. It's delicious plain, but of course, for special occasions, adding a little whipped cream will certainly add a little more pizzazz. So you can see my cake cracked a little bit on the top. Well, think about the ingredients. You've got finely ground almonds and that um, little bit of um, flour in there. So it actually crisped a little bit. Um, and it actually tastes really, really good with a nice fresh cup of coffee. So give it a try. A healthy cake and delicious. So don't forget, like and subscribe. Thank you.